So you've placed an order with GearBest and you get something in the mail that is faulty in some way or in my case, dead on arrival. What do you do? So I'm gonna do a quick video since I have to submit a video to them anyway as part of their RMA process. I thought I'd go ahead and just detail what I'm gonna submit to them to kind of let you guys what you need to do if you fall into this situation. So three main things to keep aware of. One, if you have any part of the packaging or your packing slip, be sure and include it. This is the packaging. The item in question is the full speed um, fly tower. It is a flight controller plus ESC, 20 amp ESC. This is the back of it. If you have the packing slip, include that as well. I've already included that to my initial emails to GearBest. So first what you wanna do when this problem happens is submit an, an email to GearBest, include pictures, um, and there's a support email that's on the website. I'll include in the description below and submit it to them. Now they may ask you some questions on what the issues are. And in my case, they've asked me to include a video of the problem. So um, I have it installed, partially installed. Now the second thing you wanna do is make sure that it's very clear and visible. Now this is an Airblade Eclair frame and normally there are these side plates on there, but you can't really see the stack that well. So I've removed them so that I can demonstrate the issue here. Now the issue I'm having with this is the 20 amp ESC board was dead on arrival. So I have my other electronics. They're kind of just thrown on here um, because I really just want to demonstrate the ESC. So I'm going to show them first that the ESC is powering and plugged in properly to the flight controller here and that the ground wires that are gonna power the flight controller here and power here is installed correctly. Um, so the symptom can be shown by plugging the battery. Now normally I should hear the ESC tones. Now I don't hear any of those tones. But what I do see is that my receiver, my flight controller and my VTX are all properly receiving power. I can also confirm that this is working perfectly when plugged into Betaflight. So the flight controller itself is just fine. The issue is just the 4-in-1 ESC. Now I've inspected it and I've included pictures of the board itself when I initially submitted it. So those pieces of documentation are already complete, showing that there's no physical damage to the board and that just the electronic components are not working. Now, thirdly, the other thing that you can do is if you have a functioning um, one of these, and this is kind of a bonus because a lot of times you won't have this, you can also show what one should properly work like. So I have here my Leader 120, and the Leader 120 has this exact same stack. Now I confirm, you can't really see in there, but these power leads are coming out the same way. The power is being powered here. Now in this instance, they haven't used the ground wire because ground's coming from the connectors up there. I've tried it with and without just to make sure that wasn't the issue. I can also confirm that it's installed in the proper orientation. I don't know if you can see in here, but here we have the connectors at the front, uh, which is the same here. Now I'm gonna plug this in to show what the proper function should be. And it should be this. Now my you know, lost model alarm's going off, but you can hear clearly the ESC tones uh, coming on and that's what should happen. So I'm gonna repeat for them one more time that there are no tones with this version. And as you can see, no tones. Power to the flight controller is just fine. I've successfully bound this. So if I turn on my transmitter, I get the green light. Everything works fine with the flight controller. The only issue is the ESC. So I'm going to submit this video to GearBest. I'll put in the in the comments of the description later on once I get a response. I suspect that it's gonna be fine. A lot of people are are skeptical or they're worried about, about companies like GearBest um, doing you wrong, but I've found that they have really good customer service. You just have to know how to interact with them. So submit your initial request, do it as fast as you can. Don't set these items on your shelf for six months and expect that you're gonna get an awesome response. I installed this right away. As soon as I found the issue, I submitted it to them and then they requested additional documentation in the form of a video, which I'm submitting here. Now, once um, you do that, you all submit it into a trackable ticketing system that they have and I expect the response that a, the replacement's gonna be on the way. 
Now the downside is the shipping is slow. It took me several weeks just to get this. I actually ordered it as a replacement for an Emacs Mini Magnum that I was using. And uh, that ended up burning out before this came in. I ordered it when I didn't even need it. So I was happy that it arrived and I actually did need it. Uh, but then I was very saddened to see that it was dead on arrival. So those are my recommendations. Don't worry if something comes in messed up. That's why I always order a spare. If I had ordered an extra spare of this when it was on sale and it was a really good sale, um, this stack was only like $24 when I got it for both the flight controller and 20F ESC. That's crazy. Unfortunately, things like this do happen on occasion, so now I'm gonna have to wait. Um, but that's it, guys. Good luck with your submissions. Let me know if you have any issues and I can advise you on what um, some other measures are that you can take.